welcome back to my youtube channel so now we will be seeing how we can post a request so let me create a new javascript file where i will be naming it as post underscore request javascript okay time saving let me copy this and paste okay let me change this to post, post API request should be able to post a user. Okay. Let it be post. Okay. So let us find out what is the URI for the post request and what would be the payload. So let me click on this post request. Okay, so this is the, the request and this is the payload. Let me copy the URI. Replace this URI. And I want to also add the payload itself, right? So let's copy this details. Sorry. Okay, so uh, this payload is having name and the job of the user. Okay, and let me, for now, let me remove this. Okay, and try to run this. Let me change the file name. Hit enter. Let's wait for a few seconds. So if you can see, we have posted a request, a posted uh, a, a user request, okay, where you can find the same name job. And it what it has done, it has created the ID, unique ID for it, and added a created timestamp as well. Okay. So let me add few assertions here. Let me expect response dot data dot main to be equal to the value which we have passed right so we can paste this okay let me copy this I will be also verifying job okay let me copy this Okay, so here we are verifying two, two details which we have posted. The same is available in the response or not. We are very, trying to verify. Let's try to run this again. What does pass? Let's try to make this test fail. Okay, just to verify if we have done correct test or testing. Okay, it failed. So let me reset it back. Okay. So you saw how exactly we can post a request with the payload. Now there is a use case when I have to provide the data which is unique. So for that, 
usually what people do is that they create a random strings and they reuse it, right? But let me show you one package which will help you in getting the random names and random job. It will always give you a unique name and job or any of the detail which you are requesting. It's very powerful package. It's faker JS. Okay, there are so many details which random details you can fetch from the website. Okay, so suppose I want uh, I want a random name. I can get it from here. Okay, I have to just give the uh, or uh, uh, I have to call this method, okay, which will give me a random name like this. Okay. Similarly, if suppose I want to get a job title or job type, okay. So let me click this. Okay. This will give you a job title as well. Okay. So let's see how we can use this in our code. Okay, so we, here we have to additionally require Faker, right? Okay, and before this, let me generate or get the random name so we will be calling faker dot name dot find name this is what you saw on this website okay now similarly we, we will call for Job title as well. Let's say const random job title faker dot name dot job title. Okay, now it's time to use them. Okay, instead of this of a string. Will be calling constant and instead of this leader. Pick a job title. Okay, so now every time you will be getting random data, so I have to use them in my assertions as well. Okay. Let's rerun our test. Take few seconds. Okay, so you can see a dynamic name was generated, Dinah, and the job title was International Directive Coordinator. Now let me rerun this and see if I'm getting a new name and the job title, the ID or not. So if you can see, we got new name and new job. That's the power of figure.js. When you use this in your post or any of the uh, calls, you can generate any of the random data and it will help you in testing. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, give it a thumb up. Thanks all.